two murderers who killed a stranger in his own house are back behind bars. Justice David Crossan called the killing of 60-year-old Martin Payne senseless, cowardly, and grotesque. What is closed is the trial and that part of it, so we know that they're guilty, we know what they did. The world sees that. It was back in 2019 on Vancouver Island when Payne was murdered. The amount of love and like brightness that he brought into people's lives, how joyful he was, was consistently uplifting to people in his life. Today in Supreme Court, Zachary Armitage was sentenced to life in prison without chance for parole for 25 years. James Lee Bush was found guilty of first-degree murder at trial back in November. He was also sentenced to life without parole for 25 years. Armitage pled guilty. I, I don't think that Bush uh, was sorry. I don't think he has uh, that conscience. The two were inmates at the time of the murder. They escaped William Head Institute and murdered Payne when he returned home from work. Payne's sister described her brother as kind and gentle. The sadness will always be there, but um, he would, Marty would certainly want us to um, get back to being happy people. During today's sentencing, Armitage turned to the family with his arms behind his back and said, I'm sorry. I'm disgusted in myself. I hate myself. I wish I could take it all back. I'd give my life for his. That meant a lot to all of us, and it'll be something that helps us to move forward. He was truly uh, sorry for what he'd done. I mean, all the words he said to us, I think, really did come from his heart. And he regrets what he did. Armitage cried when his sentence was read in court and apologized again to the family when he was escorted out. He can get help, and I hope he does. When Armitage addressed the family, he offered that they could reach out to him in the future if they still had questions. Now this family will try to transition to life after this horrific ordeal. Alana Kelly, Glacier Media, Vancouver.